All right, welcome back, everyone. And uh, last time we went exploring and we found all of the plasma sages. However, I did skip ahead a bit in that just so I could condense them all into one episode. So we're actually going to go um, find the last one in this now. We'll do it for real. So, as we see here, there's a Pokemon outbreak on Route 11. You also see it's May 7th, but let's not talk about that. Um, now, Pokemon outbreaks appear after you've beaten the game, and if you go to that route, you'll find rare Pokemon are there that weren't there before. It changes every day, so it's pretty neat. Anyway, here we are. We can finally head over to the Marvelous Bridge. I am me. You are you. You really don't know what to say or what to do when someone says that to you, do you? Uh, no I don't. Oh, awesome! That just made my day! This vending machine gave me an extra drink for free! Sweet, but thanks for sharing, pal. Parasol inside the gate, well, I really, really don't want to get dirty. Wow. Okay, apparently you really, really don't want to get dirty. Hmm, all right. So, here we are. The Marvelous Bridge and this guy. Son, have I got a deal for you and for you alone. Here's your chance. I will sell you the secret Pokemon Magikarp. Magikarp, Magikarp. You need a Magikarp for an unbelievable 500 Poké Dollars. How about it, interested? You have no room in your party. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that guy's the crazy guy that'll sell you a Magikarp for 500 Poké Dollars. However, this is the only place in the game you can even get Magikarp, so it is kind of worth it in this. As you can see here, there are those feather stuff. Uh, you know, the, the... I don't even know what you call them. But you can find Swana here, as well as any of the feathers like you could on the other bridge. So, keep moving along here, and... Oh snap! It's the Shadow Triad! That's not good. Gets is gone. He went off somewhere alone after we rescued him from the castle. On the day Gets has saved our lives, we had sworn to be loyal to him. Even now, after he ordered us not to search for him. Also, Gets is said to give you this. Uh, well, thanks, Getsis. That's really kind of you. As well as this. Adamant Orb, the Lustrous Orb. And can we guess what that next one is? And this also. Yep, you got it. The Grizzius Orb. Cool. So, these, uh, where did you find these? What was he planning to do with them? Why did he give them to you? There's no way to know now. Is he testing you or using you? Always been and always will be the loyal servants of Getsus. And Getsus's ambitions will never cease. Never shall we meet again. Farewell. Well, that was just great. And, yeah, you actually never run into them again. <laughs> At least in Pokemon Black and White. So, as you can see, this is a very big bridge. It really stink to fall off of it. Ah, such magnificent scenery. Yeah, so magnificent. And just like that, we have ended up on the other side. And a uh, marvelous bridge is really mind-boggling, so I'm taking a rest. What do people buy from the vending machine? To keep checking on that, this is my life. Wow, dude, haven't you ever heard of computers or something? I'm sure you, there's an app for that. I want to research an effective fighting method for rotation battles. Do you have a battle with me? Now you gotta watch out for her, okay? Because if you've just beaten the game, your levels probably are not... You should be more aggressive. You want to say that to my face? Yeah, you really have to be careful because she uses some strong Pokemon on her team. And since uh, your levels probably are nowhere near her levels, I do not recommend taking her out or taking her on. Um, unless you have that Volcarona, and even then it's a challenge. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's a triple battle in Pokemon Black. I'm playing Pokemon White, so it's a rotation battle for me. But a triple battle would make it much harder. So, as you can see, she has a Clinklang level 65, an Alomomola level 65, and a Behem at level 65. So that's nothing to joke around about. All three of those should be a lot stronger than any of your Pokemon, except possibly, uh, well, definitely Volcarona if you caught that. Um, yeah. So Wide Guard just totally canceled out my Surf, and that kind of stunk, but whatever. I used Surf there because I was hoping it'd switch out, but apparently it didn't want to. So I'm going to switch out. And again, in a rotation, I can switch between any of these Pokémon freely without using up an action. But so can the opponent. I can also switch between any of my other Pokémon. Figured I'd get to using Thunderbolt here. 
And that's just not working, darn it. So I'm gonna send out the big guns now. I've been trying to hold off on using Solaris, but really it's a situation like this that you really appreciate having some big, powerful level 70 bug thing. Trust me. So that'll also help raise the levels of my other Pokemon, which is awesome because they really need some training. You have no idea. Oh, but thankfully, since all of the trainers here, they have really high levels, but generally not super strong Pokemon. You'll gain experience very fast. Very fast indeed. You should easily be uh, low to mid-60s by the time you've explored everything, and that's not too bad. It just starts out really rough. That's the problem. It just starts out really rough. Huh, so, you dodgy fellow. Keep... Switching out your Pokemon, trying to get you. Ooh, yeah, critical hit. Synchro noise. Ow. That actually wasn't that bad. Guard split. Uh, okay. That was nice of you, actually. I don't know why on earth you'd even do that. Recover. Oh, no. Well, that's just great. I was using Thunderbolt there because I kept thinking it was going to switch out for uh, the Alamomola. It seems like it always does that, but I guess not. Why, God? Now it's switched. Wouldn't it just figure, huh? Wouldn't it just figure? Ah, just can't win here, man. <laughs> And now I finally got it right, so take that, you jerk behem. Yeah, none of your shenanigans around here. Now this is easy. Okay, so this wasn't too bad. It's a lot better than I thought it'd be. I guess if this is a triple battle, you really have to watch out for that wide guard. Any chance are you a rotation battle genius? Uh, no, I'm not. Not me. Oh, you can have rotation battles with your friends. Well, I could do that anyway. So, here we are on Route 15. That's right, we're in the first route of this new little area. And I recommend going this route, to be honest. Uh, so this person here, she'll trade you a Rotom for a Ditto. Now you can catch Ditto when you get to the giant chasm later on, but um, for right now, you probably don't have a Ditto. There is a hidden item around here somewhere, but I think it's up those steps. So, we'll have to check that out in a moment. I will unveil my Pokémon to you! They are the best in the world! Whoa, this guy! This guy and his confidence! I don't think they're that good there, Pokéfan Elliot. He's got a gulpin. What is that thing? You call that the best in the world? That's not even close. I don't know what world you're from there, pal, but that's nowhere even close to this one. Yeah, one hit. Solaris is just such a beast. I love Volcarona. Drifloon? Drifloon? Really? Why on earth would you do that? Well, this is an easy fight. I'm gonna send out Snowite, because I know she'll do so much better of a job. Well, actually, I'm sure the Volcarona could have done just fine. But really, there's no need for her to be taking anything out when I've got Snowite. You could still use some experience. One hit. No problem. None at all. See, don't let that level intimidate you. It's only the occasional really tough trainer that you have to worry about. Usually they are the, uh, you know, the one kind of trainers. Like veterans and ace trainers or whatever. Swablu. Yeah, right! Sfeel! 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 Oh man, what a do against this. Well, I'll send Wily out. Unfortunately, I do not have Judo Mario right now. He uh, kind of hit the bench for for uh, Solaris, my Volcarona. So you know, no fighting type advantage here. But Wily is certainly good at taking that thing out. Your Pokemon are also cute, but 
You're also really charming or something. Quite read it. Whoops. Listen, my love for my Pokemon is the best in the world. Nobody can beat it. Wow. Confident much? Yoo-hoo, Pokemon! Yoo-hoo, Pokemon! Yoo-hoo! Are you a trainer? Uh, someone's had too many yoo-hoos, that's for sure. Hey, you. Pokemon Ranger Shelly. Whoa, an Altaria. Now, I happen to remember fighting this Altaria in um, one of my Japanese versions of Pokemon Black and White, not knowing what on earth this thing is going to do. This thing has Cotton Guard. And that is just a pain, because it raises its defense by three stages. Additionally, it has Dragon Dance, which raises its attack and its speed by one stage. So if you're unable to take it out really quick, this thing could do some serious damage to you. Plus, if you don't have any special base stuff to attack it with, you're going to be out of luck. Thankfully in this, I do have an Ice type, a special based Ice type that just got a critical hit on that thing. Oh, so much damage. 12 times the normal amount of damage thanks to a quad weakness and stab and a critical hit. And an Obama Snow. Wow. Alright, well, this is an easy fight. I mean, this is... This is a piece of cake. Gonna send out Volcarona. Yeah! Snow Warning. Oh, there's Snow Warning for this. You're gonna get heat waved. Yeah, time to melt there, plant. Yeah! Tough trainer, a tough Pokemon, I lost! Yes you did! You lost. I will give this- I will give you this as a sign of my respect for your toughness. Ooh, a Citrus Berry, cool. I'm checking to see whether Pokemon that came from other regions by Poke Transfer has escaped! Oh, maybe that's why Pokemon from the other regions show up here now. That's kind of interesting. Never thought about it that way. In fact, I'll show you. Take a look. See, there's a Fero here. Well, that's definitely something you weren't going to be fighting in the wild prior to now. You can only find these kind of rare Pokemon on uh, routes 11 through 15, as well as some of the other optional areas, like the Abundant Shrine and any of the swarming Pokemon. You can also find some familiar faces. Oh, <laughs> Juno Mario, I miss you already! Um... <laughs> lurking in the grass here. I'm just gonna kind of show you some of them. I'm not gonna do too much in the way of repeats, though. So, let's take a look. Switch out really quick. And that was just another Fero. Nothing to worry about. Ah, the encounter rate in this game. Oh, cool, it's a Marowak. That's always a fun Pokemon to use. I like Marowak. Ah, uh, but I don't want to get this one. Just wanted to show you. And there is a battle girl. I will battle with you, but you must relax your shoulders because you need to relax to show your ability. Huh, all right. Well, I'll just chill out, man. It's okay. I'll just relax. I'm super relaxed. You know, I'm all good. It's all good. We'll do this battle really relaxed. I'll relax my shoulders and everything. It's all right. So I'm gonna send out my hope against your floating monkey thing. And even though it's like 12 levels higher, you know what? It's okay. Cause I can fly. I mean, you know, that's really relaxing my shoulders. You can use power trick. You're switching your attack and your defense. Oh man, that's kind of a bummer. But you know what? That's fine. This is just enough to take you out anyway. Oh, now you're gonna use a hitmon on top. Well, I guess that's fine. I don't really care. You know, it's only... Only 12 levels higher. I can just fly up in the air again. It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna do that. Fly up high, Hope. Yeah, just do that. We'll just fly again. And hit that hit on top. And, uh... Oh, it didn't quite knock it out one hit. Oh, it's using close combat. It's kind of like giving me a massage, I guess. Just didn't really do all that well. But it's okay. You know what? It happens. I'm just gonna use return. Because you know what? Why not? It's... It's just a good move. It's just, you know, we can really relax here. There's nothing to worry about. Metacham? Yeah, you know what? It's okay. I can take this Metacham out. It's no problem. I'll just have Hope fly up. Take care of it. It's it's no big deal. You know, oh, it's gonna use Power Trick too. Well, that's fine. I could do that all day. I'm just gonna use Fly. You know, be super chill. It's all good. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. See? There we go. Oh, cool.
cool. I hope you even gained a level. That's so awesome. Natural stance, you are good. I know, I'm great! I mean, I'm so great. Yeah, I know. When people try to do what they can, they become clumsy. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I am certainly myself when I'm not calm. I mean, you know, that was just a little too calm. What's wrong, Pokemon trainer? What's the matter, trainer? Are you lost in your journey? No. In your life? At times like that, if you fight, you'll know. Wow, that guy. He thinks he has some impressive advice, but really, he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's Keith! Keith. And he's got a Marowak, level 65. Strong Marowak. But I've got just the Pokemon to use against that, and I'm not going to be calm in this fight. No way. Not a chance. I'm going to unleash my rage and take that thing out with a critical hit. Yeah! That's awesome. So excited. I'm level 53. Yeah! Awesome. An executor. Oh, no. I got to get out of here. Actually, you know what? I do have Megahorn. That's too much to risk. I'm just going to send out Manta Blade who has a more reliable bug type attack, let's just say. Go on, Manta Blade, use X-Scissor on that thing for quad effective damage, yeah! Take that, Egg Face! Awesome. You have no doubts about your way of fighting. No doubts and no regrets. Such a strong trainer, please accept this. Cool, Citrus Berry. Life itself is a journey, and some truths you can find only when you get lost. Ah, uh, whatever. That was just some other po- I think it was another Marowak. Because they're all over the place. So see, we need to actually push that boulder into that hole there. And you gotta do it a little fancy, like so. Ah, uh, another Marowak. Not gonna deal with that. So, let's use some strength here. Which I still have on Maryland. Because... I was too lazy to take it to the move deleter, and why not, right? And, uh, let's just push this thing over now. You don't want to push it over to the right from there, so you want to kind of move it diagonally. Otherwise, it's going to get locked in. Uh, so over here, you can find an upgrade, which can be used to evolve your Porygon into Porygon 2 if you equip it while you're trading it. And, oh my goodness, another... I don't even know what it was, like a Fero or a Throw or something I've already seen before. And there's another thing I've already seen before. Don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. But just to prove that, see, I'll show you. This is something you haven't seen yet. It's a Pupitar. That's right, a Pupitar in the wild at level 50. Five more levels, and you've got a Tyranitar. I think you can even find Tyranitar very rarely in the shaking grass here, too. So that's pretty neat. You want to get a powerful Pokemon? Anyway, push that boulder over to the side and you can find TM9, Venoshock, which is a uh, special based poison type attack. Kind of interesting. Arg, another throw. Except this one's at a high level, as you can see, because I'm in the thick grass. Level 58's pretty decent. It's stronger than any of my Pokemon, except for Volcarona. That's pretty good. But yeah, Venoshock does double the damage if the foe's poisoned. So you can do some combo attacks with that. Anyhow, as you can see over to the east there, there's the entrance to the White Forest, which we'll check out in a moment here. First, what? Si repenso quante matagne ho attraversato in lungo I- Sorry, I can't speak that language. I don't know what you're saying, dude, but we all speak the language of Pokemon. So I think he's challenging me to a battle. Either that or he's trying to scare me away with his Hippowdon. So I better do something, otherwise... I'm gonna get eaten alive by that thing. Oh, and it's gonna use Sandstream. Well, this can be a rather tricky Pokemon to take out. It's very bulky. But a good water or grass type attack, particularly one that's special based, will put that Hippowdon in its place. Oh, snap, it has Earthquake. Not good. I think I can survive it. Oh, yeah, I can survive it, no problem. I was thinking to do a lot more damage. Huh, go figure. Well, that was enough to take down that hungry, hungry hippo. But what else do you have on your team there, pal? Or friend? What do you got? Oh, an onyx. That's nothing. I could take that out of my sleep. Surf! Yeah, show that thing who's boss. Aw, oh, yeah, you don't even have sturdy. 
You're just a flimsy onyx, that's what you are. And a Gligar. Okay, so everything else is pretty... pretty weak. After that Hippowdon. Ooh, Sword Stance. Uncool, bro. Uncool. Well, this should be more than enough to take it out in one hit. And I was right. Awesome, awesome. Get a ton of experience. Uh, I don't know. I think it's Italian. I'm not sure, though. Uh, yeah, you too, pal. You too. So anyway, right there, that's the Poke Transfer Lab. And as you can see, you can actually just climb up these steps to get there from the very beginning. So let's take a look inside. What do you say? So as soon as we enter... Hi, hello! You came here, that means you are a visitor? Huh? No, you came all the way here? Are you a trainer? Are you in the middle of your journey? Ah, is this your trainer card? What?! You- you have all the gym badges?! Great, you may be able to! Professor Park! Quick, quick! Oh my, what have I done? What have I gotten myself into? Why are there so many colors? Oh, there you are, Professor! Do you have a minute? I think you do. Listen, this kid is a trainer who has all the gym badges. All of them! I'm sure this trainer can operate it. I've told you many times, this invention is great indeed, but without a professional trainer! WHAT?! YOU HAVE ALL THE GYM BADGES! ALL OF THEM?! FANTASTIC! FANTASTICO! YAHOO! Whoa. What a great day! Great! Unbelievable! Hi, I'm Professor Andrew Park! You, er... Devin. Devin, are you willing to participate in an ambitious experiment that will make history? This device is called Poke Transfer. It connects blah 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 called DS system, meanwhile, blah blah, with molecules and then blah blah while evoking, blah blah. Ergo energy particles, blah blah blah, and for the frequency is the same far away Pokemon, the alpha waves, blah blah blah, blah following which rich conversion, blah blah. Spectacular results! Spectacular. To put it more simply, if you use this device, you may be able to bring Pokemon here from other regions. But, just for safety's sake, the Pokemon you're transferring shouldn't be holding anything, so make sure to take their items first. So, you! You are a fantastic Pokemon trainer! Will you participate in the great experiment of the century? You need two DS systems to use, Poke Transfer. We will conduct the experiment with another DS, is that okay? Okay, but just remember, muy importante! Once you bring a Pokemon here, you can't send it back. Do you still want to do it? Alright, so in order to do this, you do need to have two DS systems. And you need to have a fourth generation game. This means diamond, pearl, platinum, heart gold, or soul silver. And then you'll be able to transfer those Pokemon. They cannot be holding any items, nor th can they know any HM moves. Okay, okay, come here. Stand right here. Nifty. Well, let's begin! Elon C! So, on your second DS, you actually want to, um, you want to select that DS download play. It's pretty straightforward, but, um, you just need to make sure you're able to do that. I'm not gonna show that in this episode because it's gone on enough, but that is where you go if you want to transfer Pokémon from the fourth generation game to your fifth generation game. So it's pretty neat. Here we are monitoring Poke Transfer. Yeah, all right, that's great. That is great. So take this opportunity to transfer some of your stronger Pokemon from one of your fourth generation games. That way you can use them on your team and they'll be much better at taking out some of the stronger Pokemon you're gonna run into. People yearn for nature, often move to White Forest. I know, May 7th. It's been so long since I've done this. Um, yeah, so anyway. I think that pretty much concludes this episode. Next time, we'll check out the White Forest as we move our way eastbound. We'll do that in the next episode of... Maryland's Pokemon White Adventure!